Alright, what's up everyone and welcome to the FOFCL Season 3 Week 1 match featuring two European teams actually in uh, Sharpshooters and Excellent Zebra. Uh, my name is Tick Babies from Team EOE. Joining me is my teammate uh, Cash Money. What up, Cash? Yo, what up? Yo, what up? So, yeah, we got a Week 1 fixture. This is going to be the first match of the season actually. And this is going to be one of the very few all EU games that we get to cast. So I'm feeling pretty hype about it. What do you what do you think is going to happen? Well, you know what? I haven't seen these EU teams in action. I mean, I've seen them on on pubs before, but it's going to be a great a great uh you know, I mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was great, man. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, um, a lot of the EU guys, they they come from shootout backgrounds, so it's interesting to see if they can take the more individualistic style of shootout and implement it into team play because a lot of people can't really adapt to it. Because I see these guys on like, you know, shootout DM servers all day, and they're they're top fragging, but. Can they pull it off in team play is the question. So I'm really interested to see that. So the map that we're playing on today is going to be Snowy. Pretty popular map in the FOFCL. It's a very large um, cart oriented map. So the cart does start at the middle there underneath the uh, in the underpass. And then teams win by pushing the cart on either side. And if you push the cart to the other side you get 10 points. And if it doesn't go anywhere, you get five. So, yeah. yeah, right now we're just, we're still waiting for the fourth member of uh, Shootout, sorry, Sharpshooters to join up. And then we're going to, we're going to hit the road with this. But what do you think is the key for either team here to pull out a win on Snowy, Cash? Well, from experience, I'm thinking, um, am I good? Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, uh, from my experience, I think taking the top uh, big group is the key to winning this. But sometimes people, you know, forego the top and they just sit back and get picks on top. But uh, another play is uh, getting that um, overpass down pat. I see a lot of, uh, I mean, when we played Whiskey Walkers last time, they really held us down with the, the um, pumps. So it's going to be great seeing the pumps and the Henry's in play. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm actually interested to see who gets the first sharps because what's new in Season 3 is that we've actually increased the price of the sharps. So before, I think it was 150 and in Season 2, all weapons could drop, and there's Monolith for sharpshooters. So you can try coming in now, Cash. Uh, in a second, actually, not yet. But um, yeah, so the sharps was 150 However, um, if whoever was holding the sharps, if they got killed last season, the sharps would drop and his uh, teammates could pick it up. And um, also Black Dynamite was in Season 2. However, we got rid of Black Dynamite in all TP maps. So that's going to be non-existent in this match. As well as the sharps, it's still in the game, but we made it cost 175. And if you drop it on death it will not be there. It'll basically disappear. So, okay, Monolith is in. You're in. Yep, I'm in. Just got in. Okay, so looks like we're going to get started here. You want to introduce a team? Yeah, I'll do that after the reset. Okay, so looks like we're going to be live, boys. Once again, Tick Biddies and Cash Money Nah Men from Team EOE here. Going to be shoutcasting this match for you guys. A little FOFCL ma action. I was going to say maction. Action. So, Desperados, let's do a rundown of the team. We got... I was going to say Electric Zebras. Excellent Zebras on Despies. We got Yuki. How do you pronounce this? I'm going to butcher this. Psionics, Infinity, Electrino, and Trey. And you want to go down, uh, run down the Vigilante's team, Cash? 
Yeah, so on SH, I say we got uh, La Lazop 941, we got Corman, Burry, Monolith, and Sneaky uh, Senza. Yeah. All Interesting right. names for EU players. Interesting. Man, I'm really looking forward to this, man, because there's a lot of strategies that that could be implemented. We don't know which one's going to be used, so let's get right into it. Round one. Good luck, have funds coming out for both teams. I'm going to stick on uh, Monolith for sharpshooters, and it looks like a lot of them are going to be doing Henry buys. And yeah, it looks like uh, a lot of them Henry's, actually. Right, so yeah, we're gonna see if they're gonna do a uh, yeah. They're doing the train right now. They're gonna be doing the fast up. They're gonna be sending two guys fast up. They're gonna be yeah. sending Burry down an overpass. He's not gonna find anyone. Monolith yeah, coming up here. Right two guys on big roof. Monolith is gonna find them. He's gonna interact with one of them. He's gonna land a shot, but he's gonna get taken out by Yuki with a nice Henry of his own. Burry in the meantime doing work bottom gets two kills next to Cart, yeah, but he gets he taken out. Down. Right, and Electrino gonna be down here, and he picks up the kill on Tomrid, and that's gonna be a 1v1. Sneaky coming up behind him, being very sneaky, but he's missed a shot, and he gets taken out before the spawn. Sorry, after the spawn, so he will not be responding with his team, and that's gonna be really big, because when you buy big in this first round and you die, you will not be able to buy anything, and you can see that with Burry. He has a bow. Yeah, it looks like uh, they're pretty money fucked right now. Definitely money fucked. Lazop here with the bow, trying to go legless on him. The axe is going to be rushing him though. He needs to kick him away. He's not going to do that. He's going to try and go for the trades. He does find the kick, but he gets taken out by Psionix. Looks like he got panicked about there. Yeah, definitely panicked. And if you look at Lazop, he actually went for the um, the brass knuckles. Because so they are completely money fucked. I don't think anyone on either side has an actual weapon unless they pick one up from the ground. And you can see Lazop actually using the mechanic of the um, brass knuckles to take out the weapon. And this is literally a bow and navy fight. This looks like, well, okay, Sneaky has a Schofield, but everybody else is just, I don't know what's going on. It's interesting. I've never seen bow play on um, <laughs> on uh, an actual match before. Yeah. I mean, both teams are utilizing it. I mean, it, it could be, you know, a legacy from uh, shootout. You know, or Battle Royale. Wow, Sneaky gonna run into three members. He's actually gonna find a guy on Big Rocks. But one guy flanks from Roof, and that's Yuki, and he gets a nice sawed off kill. Meanwhile, Burry and the rest of his team push the cart. Dropping down, though, is Yuki with sawed off Navy combo, but he's gonna get taken out. Easy tray. Gonna be on Rocks. Flanking them, but he gets taken out. So, nice push coming up from Sharpshooters. Oh, that's Goldfield. Yeah, so this is really weird because usually when when our team EOE plays, we can we're able to sustain uh, rifles, but wow. all we're yeah. seeing right now is, is handguns. And finally, a Smith coming out from um, Tom Red after killing Electrino, but that's like the first rifle post uh, round one. It's really interesting. I mean, this is probably the EU meta. I mean, second round we would see Smiths all across the board. Like, there's no question. Okay, that. here we go. Now that um. Easy, finally have some uh, money from the, the cart pushing to get some Henry rifles up, but one of them gets taken out right away. And the mayor's leg, I'm gonna try and get on infinity. Wow. This is the EU mayor's leg, he's gonna fan it wow. but get taken out by Monolith. Meanwhile, Burry's gonna be holding uh, tower, he's gonna go for the trade here. He's not gonna connect on his first shot, and he gets taken out by Electrino. Electrino doing really good, he's holding it down, playing the angles, not getting picked, and he gets a nice kill on Monolith. Pushing out, yeah. Yeah, and oh, got the pump in there, man. Oh my gosh, we got a walker coming out from Tombard. Let's say on Tombard, wow. able to save up, and he just goes ham, kills I think two or wow. three of the EZ players, and that's gonna be a first round going yeah. to shootout. Yeah, Sorry, round. sharpshooters. That was a great round coming yeah. up from Tombard, just putting the team on his back. Well, Tombard with the um, walker kills, man. I mean, the walker kills. Now it's interesting to see if any of them can afford the sharp because the sharp is the game breaker. And okay, we got Henry's, we got a pump coming out. There's gonna be a late buy from one of the sharpshooter members, but let's keep an eye on Easy Trey here. He's he's leading the team. 
There is one Smith. He's going to be going lower. He has a Henry. He's going to be looking big roof. Looks like all of his teammates are rolling Henrys. Oh, they have a coach up on big roof. Yeah, the coach is going to hit his first two shots, but it's not going to be enough. Meanwhile, Easy putting a really big push on the lower cart, and they're actually going to be taking out the guys holding ramp. There's one guy holding a uh, tree there, but that was sneaky, and he gets taken out. Meanwhile, getting flanked by Burry with a nice kill, and again, it's Burry left the last guy standing one on one against Trey, but Trey, he's on the wrong side of roof, but he's gonna see him now, and it's gonna be a Henry battle. Oh, and Trey gets a nice trade. So now, what do you think? Again, they spend all their money. The cart did not push in, so they didn't get the cart money from from capping. Sneaky had to go Schofield. There is a Smith though on Burry. Actually, so. someone did afford a uh, Henry. Actually, um, which one is that? Well, Burry. I mean, oh, sorry. Has a Henry, actually. Yeah, Tomard is gonna be finding two guys lower, and one guy's running ramp. He's gonna miss a Smith. He's gonna miss a Smith shot. Sneaky gets a gets a nice kill on the easy uh, infinity there. And Lazlo just going YOLO mode, but he doesn't have to as Burry gets a nice headshot. Burry actually standing in for Frag Robber, I believe. So we just got to get used to these guys because I don't really know any of them. But from what I see right now, um, you know, the board looks pretty looks pretty even on both sides. Like you got Electrino and Monolith on either side with uh, in the double digits. Yeah, it's pretty even right now. But you know, I like this. All of uh, sharpshooters are just on the cart. They're just completing the objective. They're gonna get position on a ramp and just try and pick them while they go through choke point. And Electrino is actually gonna be peeking out here, and he does get a kill on Tombird, which is pretty funny. But he's gonna get taken out by Burry Monolith going to town on Infinity, and that's gonna be another wipe for an out for uh, sharpshooters. And they're going to be looking to take a, a yeah. second straight round here. But let's see what kind of defense Easy can muster. Now, like I said before, there's no black dynamite. So they can't just blow them off the map. But they can buy normal dynamites. But they're going to try and combat this with all Henry buys and one Schofield. Psionics coming out. Wow, but just oh my pick. gosh. They just got destroyed. Sharpshooters not holding angles. Just they're all on That's the car and they got single pick Tom Red. It was like AFK or something. He's saying OMG. He's gonna run, but he should be saving this weapon. But he's running out. He does yeah, get a kill. Really be back. You know he does get a kill after the spawn, so Laying it's gonna be on four on four now. Electrino getting spawn camp by Lazop, or the other way around, I should say. Meanwhile, Monolith taking out Yuki there. The guy holding small roof, and he's gonna get shot at from Lazop running with the uh, pump shotty, but that doesn't—he doesn't give a shit, man. He just <laughs> takes him out. Last guy for EZ is Trey. He's gonna be holding boxes here. He sees one. Wow. Again. Nice. What nice do you make hit. of this cash? Like, I swear, every time, like one of the EZ or sharpshooter members gets taken out right after spawn, and then they're disadvantaged. Yeah, I mean, definitely at this point, I mean. The, the amount of cash they had up, I mean, everybody's going at least pumps or Henry's. I mean, this is going to be a really stalemate match because at this choke point, I mean, you can play angles, you can get out, and you can still push back. Psionix needs to die before the spawn. Again, he doesn't do it because they just keep picking them up before they spawn. And again, there's going to be a 4v5 and all of Despies are buying weapons, which I do not agree with. They're already a man disadvantage. Well, they have to push it out. They have point. to push it out, but if you're against a team with Henry's and pumps, one of your guys just died, you know, the logical thing would be to save it, but actually, easy, bring it to a 2v2, but he's just going to crouch behind the uh, the cart there, and Lazov's going to get the nice cap. Yeah, definitely. I think easy really has to step it up and start pushing the bottom, because they're going really uh, top-heavy right now. Yeah, so top just a reminder. Just a reminder guys, the Sharps is 175, so I don't think anyone has gotten one yet, but I'm just going to keep an eye on Sharpshooters, because one of them may have bought the Sharps. But meanwhile, I'm going to stay on Sneaky here. He, he actually bought a Henry and a Volcanic. He's going to get taken out by Yuki though. And just like I said, Tom Bird finally getting the Sharps, and this is where Sharpshooters are just going to dominate. 
they can sustain the long the long range pressure while Lazap goes bottom. Wow, the dynamite actually gonna connect from Psionic, so that's a nice play. It's gonna be a two on one. Tomer takes out the last guy, Team White Man. Pretty costly one actually. Three guys from SH um, getting killed there. Yeah, but can they afford guns? Or some of them can. Oh well, I mean, oh not when Tomer just watch watches down the choke point and he's gonna toss the dynamite, but it's pretty poor dynamite to be honest. Didn't get much lift on it. Trey is gonna be looking right into the site, but Tomer actually decides to take out Electrino. Psionics, he's gonna be pushing up on fence. They're actually gonna try and take him out. Yuki going aggressive and he takes him out. He takes out the sharp, but unfortunately, sharps will not drop anymore due to the new uh, season three config. So, no sharps for you. Definitely OP in the, in the especially on snowy. Yeah, for sure. Just sustained pressure is just that's that's all this this uh, map is about. Just sustaining pressure. Mono getting nuts kill in Cyanus. We got Electrino with my double D's. He is lagging though. I think we should we should mention that these two teams are both EU teams playing on an NA server. So, you know, there will be some issues with latency, but they're both pretty even in terms of uh, ping. And honestly, playing on EU servers as an NA guy isn't really that bad, so I don't see the other way being around any different. Meanwhile, Trey is going one-to-one -one against, uh, I'm not too sure who that is, but we'll find out in a second. That was Burry taking him out on crates. So again, Sneaky is holding tree. They're just trying to hold house, man. Yeah, like, the Desperados, they just need to hold. And they're doing that to an extent, but not when you have two guys pushing, sorry, four guys pushing against two. But they're doing a good job, Infinity and Electrino actually getting uh, a kill there. But look, just as I said, when spawns happen, look what happens. One dies. So it's always going to be a 5 on 4 unless they get it back. And Infinity says, we're not going to lose this round. 3 minute and 22 seconds left, they can still get 2 rounds back. Yeah, you're right, there's a walker on Tomer. This guy's disgusting, oh, man. Shots, just and shots. that's a three now, and that's going to be a third round, most likely, for sharpshooters, unless the, uh, a miracle dynamite comes up. But that's not going to happen. And just like that, thirty to nothing for sharpshooters. Wow, it's just been a back and forth around Despi um, spawn this whole entire game. Yeah, so you know, um, top of the board right now. Tomard and Monolith with both 19 frags, almost 20 frags, so very impressive performance for both of them. Meanwhile, Electrino and Yuki holding it down for easy, but, um, you know, they're gonna need that shards. I wanna see if any of the uh, Desperado players were able to afford one. Phoenix is just rushing down cards, so he's completely objective. But they're just gonna rush top roof. Yuki with the um, pump, but he's only gonna be able to take out one. And Tomard still went with his walker, and he just picked up a volcanic. Lazop going to battle against the pump. It's going to be a pump battle. And Psionics is going to get the better of that battle. But it's going to be a 2 on 2 with a walker on uh, sharpshooters. Psionics doesn't know this. He's just going to keep walking out. And That's Sneaky gets taken out by control. Electrino. But look here. Tomer's going with the flank. And he gets a nice kill on Electrino. And he's going to keep going. I'm going to stay on the uh, Tomer cam. He misses his and shot. Psionics takes him out. The push sure. continues. This is what EZ needs. They need this push to happen, but that's not going to happen when the rest of his team spawned at back cabin because unfortunately they didn't get the um, the forward spawn in time. So they're going to be lagging behind. Trey now flashing, uh, brandishing his uh, walker of his own, takes out two players. Meanwhile, Lazop takes out Electrino. And the spawns just happen. Infinity at 5 HP. That Henry's missing all of his shots, but Lazop won't miss his shot. As he takes out Infinity. Oh, well, it's very interesting to see the, the Mare's Lay bow, even, and also the Peacemaker. Wow, a Peacemaker. At this yeah. range. And uh, as soon as you said that, Tomer gets taken out with his Peacemaker uh, by Trey's um, Walker. Burry again with the bow. Nope. Okay, and here Yuki has dynamite, but he may get rushed down before he can even drop this off. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they're rushing him fence. Look at this. There's two guys trying to kill him before he lets him fly. He's going to let it go. And he's going to get nice damage onto Tomrid. Oh my goodness, that was a great dynamite. 
But uh, Lazop just goes freaking ham, man. He just killed three guys, but he's gonna be two on one. And for some reason, he didn't quick switch while he was reloading, and he just got hit four times by Infinity's uh, pump. Like, he just didn't give a fuck. He wanted to reload that so bad, he forgot to quick switch. And wow, Birdie with a nice shot. I keep missing this. I might stay on the Birdie cam for a bit. But meanwhile, they got Trey. He may be running into some of them on overpass. He, he heard someone. He definitely heard somebody, but he's not going to connect on the guy lower. Meanwhile, Electrino is going to be... Oh my gosh! Four uh, shoot, um, sharpshooter guys come out around the corner. And there's going to be a double volcanic. He goes dually CSGO mode with Monolith here. Going double volcanics. What do you think about that? That's actually a really aggressive stance from Monolith. It's, it's interesting. I, I haven't even seen um, volcanics being played on an actual match before, so it's, it's pretty interesting. Taking yeah, those, so taking those cues from shootout, right? Oh, well, we have a ghost cart right now. Oh yeah, the cart is pushing by itself, but uh, it doesn't really matter because Tom is just pushing it regardless. Yeah. So um, okay, I'm gonna get an easy trade while he gets a nice uh, headshot from the walker on Tom Bird. and Trey really liking the um the walker, but he misses his first shot. But he gets taken out by Lazop, and I think he just picked up his walker, if I'm not mistaken, if he used the, um, the bare knuckles, brass knuckles correctly. But look, he's going to get a flank. That guy's going to miss his um, shot, and actually, Cyanus gets taken out by Monolith, who backed up Burry there. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be a stalemate. So, um, basically, this is going to be a one-half for uh, sharpshooters, because even if um, Infinity caps this point they will not win the half so it's going to be a first half going to sharpshooters and if you look at infinity right now he was on the he's on the oil tower we call it oil tower we know it's not an oil tower but he's on the oil tower and he's trying to get some long range snipes with the henry i don't i think they just noticed him but this is not really the best position to be honest it takes a long time to get up there and also henry at that range you're probably doing maybe 15 damage for him 15 to 20. yeah I mean, it's small nicks at that point, you know. So at this point, you know, we're just going to be playing it out. So Monolith has the sharps. Going to try and finish off the game. He's going to actually miss that shot, but... Um, yeah. So just to let you guys know, FOFCL Season 3 finally here. We're in the middle of the game. First half about to end in about two minutes. Make sure you guys tell your friends about it. Spread the word gonna get this community growing especially with the EU scene growing there's already like seven or eight teams EU teams so really happy to see um, the FOF community grow here and um, yeah, just for those of you that are just joining um, my name is Take Beatties I'm joined by my co-caster and teammate on Yeo Yi uh, Cash Money two-time world champions we're just uh, helping out the community man season one and two champions we're just we're just doing this casting gig um, so yeah, let's just get back in the action. Enough about us. So Burry gonna be pushing it with Tomer with the Walker. Let's just stay on the Tomer Walker cam. He's gonna actually shoot the floor, but it doesn't matter because uh, Sneaky's gonna clean up with his Walker. He's in tower. Wow, nice shot on Electrino, and that's gonna be it. That's it. All right. So first half. Eight to two. I, I was pretty surprised to see it like the walkers come out at that at that time. It, it's interesting because I would be thinking at that range you would be taking Henry's because they'll be peering around the corner. Yeah, well, let's see if they take a different approach going into the second half. So yeah, the first first round, uh, first half rather, 38 to two. Gonna be going to second half now. Now let's see if the sharpshooters can continue the dominance because you know these these two teams are pretty evenly matched the ping is pretty evenly matched so for them to go um, 38 to 2 pretty pretty solid performance but by no means is that a dominating performance I still think that easy we're just kinda getting into the rhythm Yuki had a really solid performance as well as uh, Infinity so let's see if they can keep that up what do you think is the key for easy here to, to get back into this game well, uh, looking back, I mean, 
sharpshooters were taking the top every single ra round, basically. I mean, they even put three guys up the up at the top sometimes. So I think, you know, not don't go all Henrys, but at least get some pumps, some coaches up there. Got to neutralize those Henrys for sure. I mean, if, if they get up on the top, everybody's on the floor is sitting ducks basically. Right, and you know what? Actually, if you look at EZ, Electrino bought a navy, and there's one bow even on their team. I don't know what the point of ecoing so early is. They're really, they really need to win this. And oh my gosh, three guys went fast up for SH and they just take out Yuki immediately. Infinity gonna be dropping down with the coach. But he's gonna miss his first shot, hit his second, but he's vulnerable right now. Somehow he's still alive, but he gets taken out. The last guy is gonna be Trey with a bow. Yep. I can't true. believe they went a navy and a bow. I mean, and he's gonna miss point. all of his shots. He, he, I mean, I don't wanna be mean, but you know, obviously he's, he doesn't know how to use the bow correctly. He's just firing, firing away, but the good thing is, at least he will be able to afford a weapon, at least he sh in, th in theory he should be, because they did save, but Yuki, since he bought a pretty expensive weapon, I think he got a coach, he can only afford a navy right now. Gonna try and get the guy tower, but he's gonna fan and he's gonna get it on the sneaky toss. Yeah, monolith, oh my gosh, SH just dominating, that just... I mean, I can. They could afford. Uh, no, here's the thing. They cannot buy right now. Easy can't buy, and they just bought. Exactly. So I don't know what they're doing. Easy buying, even though they know they lost the round, and they they're just gonna be completely money fucked. Yeah. Like, uh, so if Trey right. can probably only buy a Smith now. Oh, he actually gets a pump. So my wow. mistake. But um, oh yeah, that's right. Because you do get money from from the cart pushing. But if they would have full saved, it would be a sharp and there still may be a sharp because they did save they did go colt and bow infinity not being able to jump on a ledge cyanic's going to be going lower but let's keep an eye on a uh, sneaky sauce here sneaky senza sorry he's got a um peacemaker and a smith he's gonna get the flank here but uh yeah. no need because big tom bird and lazab just man. yeah they just dominating big roof and the problem is if you're gonna try and combat big roof you need the big guns, right? And I think they did send it, but I think they just got outplayed by uh, sharpshooters. The the thing I, I saw is that they didn't even get up to the the, can the rocks fast enough. I mean, you, um, who was the other player on Henry on Despi? He's always getting up top first. Burry's gonna get a nice dynamite, and he gets an instant dynamite kill on the Yuki. And Yuki was actually trying to throw his own dynamite, but he got beat to the punch. Trey is going to be pushing tower here, not going to find anyone just yet. Electrino bought an axe, so you can just see the mode of desperation, but oh my gosh, they get three eco kills. Infinity goes around the back, takes out Sneaky Senza. He's going to be going on a monolith, who's the last guy for sharpshooters, but he gets taken out. He takes out another guy, and he takes out a third guy, but finally, Trey takes him out. You know, sometimes if you have one Henry, you know possibility take out three people even the whole team it's it's that deadly you know mm -hmm. i mean you obviously know how to use that weapon because in FOF that's besides the pump shotgun and just as i say pump shotgun Burry uh, takes out somebody but um yeah the pump shotgun and the henry are the weapons with the most fire rate and Burry gonna put that to the test as he takes out infinity and one's gonna drop down, he finally quick switches, trying to get the headshot, but Trey's gonna take him out before that. Meanwhile, Sneaky Senza comes to revenge his buddy Burry and takes out Trey with the pump. Now they got good position on the lower cart. Sneaky Senza has three weapons on him right now. He's gonna go aggressively onto this Henry player, and they're gonna take out Electrino with the help of Lazop, so that's good uh, teamwork coming in from SH. Where is Cy going, actually? Yeah, Psyonix. Yes, okay, so he, he's trying to spawn the camp, but this is good. He's right behind the cart player, and he takes out Sneaky Senza with a sneaky play of his own, but Monolith gets a nice kill. But Psyonix gets a 2k with the Schofield, and just like that, it's going to be a 2 on 3 in favor of uh, Easy. And I'm just going to stay on Psyonix because he's found some more action here, and he's going to take out Tomard, just going ham, and Burry is going to be left alone on a 1 on 2, but the spawns just come out. But he's going to get rushed down. He's going to be reloading a smith. He gets a hit. But they should be able to take him out unless they 
yeah, they do take him out. He lets you know, getting the kill. Now look, we got two going big roof here. Yuki and another one of his players. Actually, three guys on big roof. Tomard being able to afford his um, signature walker. Yuki's going to drop down lower. He's going to flank, but sneaky. Oh my god, did they all buy walkers? Literally two, man. maybe even three players from uh, Sharpshooters bought walkers. That's the EU strat, man. Oh, there's a dynamite somewhere. I hear it, I hear it, and it does good damage on the Lazar, bringing him down to 60 and dropping his gun. And the Trino went YOLO, but he got taken out by Tom Rid's, um walker, but return kill coming from Lazap on Psionics, and just like that, three and out. Sharpshooters getting a good cart control, and... I believe sharpshooters did spawn at uh, back cabin in which they did, so they're going to be coming out with heavy weapons. We got Electrino, going to be looking tower. Doesn't connect with his first shot. I'm just going to hold the corner. Wow, Trey going to wow. town, getting two kills with the walker. Oh Trey my gosh! Wow. Trey with a 3k. Yeah, what indeed, man. You just got decimated, my friend. <laughs> And really look, look, they're going to do the spawn in their camp. I believe they spawned overpass. They may be running into them. And they are going to. Oh, Electrino, he went YOLO mode. Gets a nice headshot. Yuki trying to trying to sneak in a big loop. He's going to get some chip damage. And he's going to get the kill. Actually, Infinity does that. And he's still going to be flanking one more guy. He's out of bullets now, though. And last up with a nice reaction. But he gets wow. taken out. And Sneaky Senta only has a Schofield and Dynamite. And he threw the Dynamite the wrong direction, actually. I think he got a bit confused. But he should die here, unless he connects with two nice uh, Schofield shots. And these guys are just going back and forth, but Sneaky Sensor just says, fanning, fuck it. Fanning comes out. He's, the fanning, the EU fanning comes out, takes out Infinity. And the Dynamite, he's going to drop it. It's not going to hit anything lower. Wow, Burry taking out Easy oh. Trey. And just like that, four guys on the cart for uh, Sharpshooters. But they're going to get flanked by... Uh, Somebody on top, Yuki, still with the pump shotgun. He's been on like 30 life for the longest time. And well, um, easy just lost their window of opportunity. I mean, that spawn camp at overpass. Uh, if they connected with that, it would have been, it would have been close. I would say. At this yeah. point, I mean, less or what, 15 seconds even maybe. Yeah, actually, like more like five Probably seconds. Five. But um. Oh, what happened? Oh, pause, pause. Okay, so... Yeah, you're gonna have to leave the, the match yeah, well, right I'm now. Out, I'm out. So that he can join in. Yep. Um, once he joins back in... Okay, you can come back in now. Okay, so unfortunately, Electrino crashed and he is back in the game, but unfortunately that means that they're going to be 4v5 for this first round. So, as if they weren't disadvantaged already, they're going to be down a man for the first. But Yuki actually gets a nice kill on the Tomard. Uh, Sneaky just holding... Uh, holding current, he's going to find somebody. He's going to not connect with the first two shots. And he gets taken up by Psionics with like a more reliable skull field there. And it's going to be a 3 on 2 in favor of uh, Sharpshooters. But Infinity is not going to let this die. But he gets taken out. And just like that, 2 and out for Sharpshooters. Unfortunate disconnect for Electrino. I think that's what may have just lost on this game, to be honest. Yeah, it, you know, sometimes we just need a buffer zone. I mean, these things can happen all the time, basically. I mean, they even happen on our NA server when we're playing. Yeah, you definitely... It's not because of the ping, it's, it's you know... Yeah, you know, un unfortunately, Electrino just falling victim to circumstance there. Maybe his internet cutting out. But, um, anyways, Monolith getting a nice kill from Big Roof on the small roof. Sneaky takes out Yuki. Not looking good here, but Tomard throws his own dynamite into his teammates, unfortunately. Ooh, Electrino, nice comeback uh, headshot on the Burry there. 
And now, if you see all of um, EZ just banding together into a zebra herd mode and trying to push out the cart, and they get a nice kill on the Tombird. Yuki gonna try and go for the revenge kill, but he's about to get flanked by another team teammate of SH, and Sneaky Senza takes him out. Last guy standing for EZ is Electrino. And he is in a very exposed position. I'm not too sure what he's doing. And he gets taken out. So yeah, I don't, just a lack of coordination coming out from EZ. They just always tend to be one guy down whenever the respawns happen. And they, they're, they're going a little too YOLO. But it's okay, you know. The, this is the first game of the season. This is where you can uh, get blown up by Dynamite. Yeah, this really Holy Burry, I mean, man. Burry, that... That was so nice by Burry. He just knew that that guy was in tower and he launched the dynamite. So just like that, 25-5. How much time left? Four and a half Four. minutes left. Yeah. What? Okay, so they need to basically Two win rounds. a really, really fast half and then they can just stalemate the next one. <laughs> and they can do that. Four minutes is a lot of time, but yeah. um, we got to see if there's a sharp coming out. And I think there is... No, that's a Henry. Okay, so I'm just going to look around for a sharp. They're rushing two guys down there in the cart for uh, easy, but there's one guy going to be meeting them there with the Henry. Meanwhile, Cyan is going with the, the Schofield. He's missing his shots, not connecting, and he pays for it. He gets taken up by Tomard. Lazlop trading with Electrino there. And Infinity, they're just getting picked off. It's a four and out for SH, just like that. Yeah, it's it's really unfortunate. I mean, SH is clearly, clearly communicating better. I mean, and organizing better, for sure. Yeah, I think just the problem is they're not communicating the rushes, and uh, the majority of them went over pass, and um, they went over pass and lower, and they just got picked off from the top. So just again, lack of communication, like you said. Burry's gonna be hiding here in fence. But he doesn't have to do anything because Monolith and Sneaky Saws. Sorry, Sneaky Senza just, just doesn't work. Meanwhile, Lazlop not realizing anyone's there. He's actually lagging. Finally goes in defense, takes out Easy Trey. He looks, you know, with a bad peek, and at least he gets the respawn, but they are just not they're just not coordinating as no, a team, I don't unfortunately. Think they're fall back from this at this point. I mean, nice you know the Oh, there's a nice dynamite that was coming out there from Psionics, just holding the push. But um Sneaky Senza might actually get killed there, and he does for some reason. Ten health walks out into the peak area and gets gets decimated. Tomard gets taken out by uh, Infinity, and they're actually holding pretty well. But oh, Infinity, nice shot on a Monolith, but he gets that just as a spawn comes in. But even so, Birdie gets taken out. It's gonna be a four and five. Easy need to push now. There is two minutes remaining. They have to get this card from their end to the other side in two minutes. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, just too much the same pressure from Lazlop coming out with the sh uh, pump shotguns. And every one of, uh, you know, uh, sharpshooters are playing this very, very smart. They know that they're at a, you know, they're in an NA server. You can't rely on your shot that much when it's lagging. So, what did they all do? They all bought pumps, they all bought uh, coach guns. Guns that are reliable in, in a situation. Where you know shooting your best. Oh, the save! That was a really good save, actually. Two players jumping behind Car Easy Yuki does not want to lose this game. Unfortunately, I don't think time is on their side. It's, it's just Im physically impossible for the car to travel to the other side in yeah. in less than a minute. So, unfortunately, um, excellent zebras are gonna lose their first gonna lose their first uh, match of the FOFCL, and Sharpshooter is gonna take the win. So congratulations to Sharpshooters winning the first match of season one. Um, yeah, what are your, what are your thoughts? You know, at the time I saw Yuki playing, I think Yuki's a pretty decent shot. Um, some other players I played with, Infinity, but I remember Monolith, um, they were actually winning for uh, Whiskey Walker from we playing them. I mean, they've already, some of their players have already gone through, you know, FOLCL matches actually. So, you yeah. know, it's not surprising to see them, you know, coordinating a little bit better, communicating a little bit better, and knowing the maps a little bit better. Yeah, yeah most definitely the, uh, 
you know, the, the experience is definitely a big thing, especially with team play, because you really need to play a lot differently than shootout. You can't just YOLO swag mode. And, uh, okay, let's see. So this is going to be a consolation round for, for easy. But uh, I want to see if they can do anything different. Yuki is going to be solo up here. And you're just not going to be able to contest against, um, you know, three guys roof against one. It's just impossible. And all sharpshooters have been doing all game is just sitting back and getting picks. That's all they had to do every every round. Another team wipe. Because um, they're just not adjusting. I think if Zebra, all they had to do was try and hold positions not push just just get picks and then play off the money disadvantage but you know unfortunately cash all they did was run in run in and get killed get killed yeah I, i'm seeing like absolutely no coordination i mean one guy up on top roof you, you might as well not even go top roof at that point but you know what i still there is you know still a lot of good things i see from easy though i don't want to put them down completely you know um Yuki definitely uh, one of their standout players to me. I know he's a good player. I've seen him on servers playing, and he he had the right idea going top. He just needs the coordination from his team to get that black up that he needs. And uh, Infinity also another player. He's top fragging right now. Really, really trying to get this back for his team. But yeah, that was a nice pick. But I think just overall, oh my goodness, Psyonix. Get out of here, son. That was nice. Blast him off the map. He's gonna miss his second dynamite. But he doesn't give a fuck because he's just gonna punch the sword off. I mean, the pump right off of um, Lazop. And he might get a kill here for his efforts. He's gonna help a team out fence and he gets it. The sneaky Senza European fan and comes out. But, um, yeah. Gets taken out by Tomard. And he gets a 2k. So it looks like we have a uh, a rage quit. Oh, he joined back, but you know it doesn't really matter because yeah. it looks like this is gonna end because Tomer's just going ham with the uh, the walker. I think he tried to BM uh, jump on the cart, but well, it's a YOE move. But <laughs> anyways, looks like they're gonna cap this. The save. Oh my goodness, very uh, heroic. Oh my gosh, we're still keeping it off. Just, they do not want to no lose, dice. but Legolas is not going to be able to get them off. No dice. GG. And that is going to be 45-5 to five in favor of sh uh, Sharpshooters. And they win their first match at the FOFCL. 2 to nothing. You know, I'm kind of surprised. I'm kind of actually surprised at the score. I thought it would be a little bit more um, even. You know, I mean, playing on Snowy, I haven't seen that level of, you know... You know, that, that discrepancy, you know, 40 to 0, 40 to 5. I mean, I haven't seen that since Season 1, let me tell you. Yeah, most definitely. So we got a lot of new teams, so, I mean, we're going to be prepared for these wipes. Yeah, that was that was just... Um, I think, you know, they definitely had the... Both teams had the, their DM sorted out. There's no question that they can get kills. The issue for EZ was their coordination, because they a lot of their players had the right ideas. Some of their players would go top, some of them would go bottom. It's just the execution in their plan was just not there. So unfortunately, you know, just not not uh, happening for them. But yeah, so uh, any final thoughts before we uh, close out the stream? Well. Uh Actually, I mean, we're seeing that kind of EU meta that you're referring to, like the bows coming out on the bows, even people buying bows on the first round, even when they have 75, you know? Yeah. And also, it's the first time I've seen a lot of pistol play and brass knuckles. I mean, when we play Snowy against, you know, reverse gaming or, or um, even Whiskey Walkers, I mean, we are seeing like Smith all day. Smith, Henry's, and coach, I mean, coaches, but coach only as a necessity, right? I mean, these yeah. guys are playing with pistols, I mean, brass knuckles. It, it, just really anything, anything under the yeah. sun. But yeah, you know, I think that just comes to the utility of shootout players. They really, um, they don't really grasp the concept yet of saving, because it's very similar to CSGO, so, you know, 
just a little tip for any of you guys that are playing in the league that are watching. We definitely, in these uh, team play maps, especially uh, pushing the cart mode, you need to save if you're gonna sustain a, a consistent push in the, in the coming rounds. Because if you just buy, 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 yeah, you get money from, from losing, but the thing is, you're not gonna get the money that you need to be able to win the game. So, definitely uh, something to think about. But, yeah. Final score, guys, uh, 38 to 2, 45 to 5, both in favor of sh Sharpshooters, beating Excellent Zebra in the first week one match fixture of the FOFCL season three. Holy shit, say that ten times. But um, yeah. But, Thanks uh, everyone for watching. Uh, what yeah. is the next matchup actually? Next matchup. Um, you're gonna have to follow the FOFCL Steam group for that, guys. Um, we will. I mean, we will try our best to stream games, but. That's only if we have casters available. You know, I'm not the full-time caster for the league. I just like to do this in my spare time. But um, for all the information, just make sure you guys check out the uh, FOFCL Steam group and, and you'll find everything you need there. So, um, yeah. On behalf, of, uh, blah, on behalf of the FOFCL, uh, my name is Tig. I was Cash. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Later. Yep, good one. Later.